All right, guys, I just want to give you an update on what I'm doing with the Kincaid Portable Garden. That bird way up there is really mad at me right now because what I've done is I started building the trellis. The white posts and the white strings, the big squares, are going to be the trellis that everything grows up on. But if you look carefully, you'll see that there's a thin green netting that's also going over all of the pots and that's to help keep the birds and the critters out. I also put a back layer over there. I did not crawl under the steps and put a back layer on this side. So if they were really sneaky, they could go in through these big holes right here and I may have to fix that later. Um, but y'all know I don't like spiders and I just, I can't make myself get that far under. So that's not a thing that's gonna happen today. Um, right here, you can see I planted some radishes. No, I planted some beets. No, it has to be radishes. Radishes, turnips, something like that. I planted those in all of the buckets. Um, that's what some of the little things that you see here are. They're going to be different types of the radishes because they grow pretty quick. Um, inside in the middle of this bucket, which is just now starting to sprout, it hasn't quite broke through the ground. In this one and in this one is squash and zucchini. This one, you can see it right here. That is the cucumber starting. And then these are turnips, beets, or radishes, whatever. There's different kinds. This one has the carrots in it. You can start seeing, I got some little carrot sprouts coming out. There's some over here too. Um, this one is gonna have a tomato plant in the middle. It has not come up yet. And then it also has little beets and seeds and uh, turnips and radishes, whatever, growing on the outside. This one is one of the bean plants. It's starting to sprout really good. I have two of them sprouting. I planted three seeds in each. Um, I can't remember which one was the green one, which was the purple, which was the yellow. These are the little green onions and you can see all of those coming up. I literally put a whole pack of seeds in here. Um, you can see one of the seeds right here is out of the ground. I'm gonna punch it back down in there. Um, but here's two of the sprouts right here for the beans. And then here's two sprouts right here for these beans. So that is my down here in the bucket garden. I'm gonna pull this big, huge weed out right here. I know that my plants are growing in buckets and weeds really won't get in there, but I hope. But yeah, that's what I did today. Today is Thursday. Um, so that's what I did down here at the bottom. I did some new stuff up on the porch too. I'm gonna go up there and show you what those are. The wind is still a little bit chilly today. It was very cold yesterday. I wrapped up our things in blankets. I also brought our grow lights from home or from school to the house. Um, we used them in the classroom when we started our seeds, but I'm worried that on the back porch, um, it's covered in and it's fenced in. And so even though I was moving the potters around all of the porch so that we could get some sunlight, I was afraid it wouldn't get enough. So I've set them to a 12 hour thing just to give a little additional light. You can see here some of the um, tomato plant leaves got a little bit crispy in the cold. I don't know if they're gonna do well. Um, they got some little spotting going on. And I think that's from the colder temperatures, but I'm already seeing them perk up some from the grow lights being out here. So I think the added um, UV light, the red and the blue is doing well for them. Um, our marigolds are doing wonderful. And also have either the bok choy or the, I don't, I don't know what they are, um, but I have one of the leafy greens that are doing well. 
This right here is a beet plant and the beet's doing really good. Um, it's growing very well in the pot much better than I thought it would. This tomato plant seems to be doing a little bit sadder from the cold weather. So I don't know how well it's gonna do, but we're gonna keep it in here and we're gonna try it out a little bit. 